Good afternoon, you guys. <laughs> I am washing my hair and I figured I would do a curly girl video. I haven't done one in a while. I am trying something new today. This is the Olaplex Zero. You guys know I'm the biggest Olaplex number three fan. Literally love it. I cannot live without it. I've heard this is a good thing to add. So what you do is your hair is dry, dirty hair. You saturate your hair from root to tip with this, which I will say you guys, to apply this takes some time because this is the world's teeniest, tiniest stream of product that comes out. It's very watery. I'm like debated just dumping it out, but I think I got it saturated enough. So you leave it in for 10 minutes and then you apply number three and then you wash and condition your hair. So very interested to see how this goes. I've had my hair straight now for seven days. So it's in very much need of a wash. So I'm gonna take you through my wash day today. All right, so this is my shower. First thing I use is my Surface Awaken shampoo. And I wash my hair with this twice. So the first time I just wash to clean my hair. And then the second time I wash and then I scrub with this little scrubber thing. It's just from Amazon. It's honestly the best thing ever. I don't know why it took me so long to get it. But I try to get all of my roots with it and then just rinse it out with water. And then the next thing I get is my purple shampoo, which helps with my highlights so they're not so brassy. I notice that my hair gets pretty brassy the closer and closer I need to be getting my hair highlighted. So uh, this is the Mika Bust Your Brass and I love it. It works so well. And I leave that in for a little bit. I think you have to leave it in for five minutes or something like that. And then you just rinse that out and I go in with my Surface Awaken conditioner. This stuff is amazing. I buy it from my hairstylist and it is like this minty conditioner, shampoo and conditioner, and it just helps stimulate that scalp. It's amazing. So I condition with that and then I take this Amika, I think it's called The Cure or Cure. Yeah, The Cure. I love Amika hair masks. I have another one and I have been loving it. So I apply that after my conditioner and I use a generous amount and I apply it to my ends and kind of work my way up to the scalp. I comb with my um, wide tooth comb that I keep in the shower. I will link this below because these are awesome. I have a purple one I use too. And then um, I throw it up in a bun and I let it sit for 10 minutes and I do the rest of my shower things like shave and exfoliate that whole thing. And then I rinse it out and then it's time to apply my curly products. All right, fresh out of the shower, first thing I'm gonna do is spray some leave-in conditioner just a little bit because this is technically a leave-in, um, but I just want, I like this Moroccan oil one. Just do a little bit and then I'm gonna brush through my hair, comb I should say. Then I have this little scalp elixir that I got from Surface and I'm using this because um, of my damaged hair from my Revlon Bro dry, Blow Dry Brush, which if you guys don't know what I'm talking about, just um, follow me on Instagram and I have a whole story on that. But I'm just gonna spray a little bit of this. It's like the mintiest thing ever. I'm just gonna rub it into my hair okay so today i am using curl smith i have been absolutely loving these products together so i'm using the weightless air dry cream um, i do split off my hair but with this air dry cream i've realized the first time i used it i feel like i used too much and it made my hair just weighted down so i'm gonna split it and just use 
this much for all of my hair. All of my hair that's out, I should say. In the praying hands. This stuff smells heavenly. I love this combo. I bought it at Ulta. I'll link it below, but oh my gosh, it just smells so good. Part again. I part it. I probably just do three sections and then move my way up. So I'm just going to do this for this side of my hair. It says apply, um, a gen what does it say soaking wet hair rake through to ensure you are evenly coated all strands that's what i do but just try not to use too much then i'm going to do the top layer and then i'm going to comb it through with my wide tooth comb so i'm just going to split it down the middle Don't forget about the back of your hair. Feel like it's pretty evenly coated. And now I'm gonna section off and do my gel. And for the gel, I just do like probably the same amount, like three layers. This is their Hydro Style Flexi Jelly. I really like it. And, ugh, I just can't get over the smell. It smells good for so long. Like for two days, I swear to God, my hair smells like this. Also using the primer today, that Olaplex primer. I'm interested to see. I'm not sure that I, oh, my hands are so slippery. I don't know if I noticed a difference or not, but you know, we'll see how my hair turns out. You want to make sure your hair is sopping wet. You can hear my hair just. Okay. And also, I don't know if I mentioned this, but I did get the Dyson hair dryer. So I have been using that to diffuse and I have been absolutely loving it. It just dries my hair so much faster. And because I did have heat damage from my other um, <clears throat> blow dryer, I was like, you know what? I'm investing in a Dyson just because I've heard so many good things and a lot of people um, just having really good luck with the Dyson. Okay, we are all done. I'm gonna part it like how I normally part it, which is about here. So, more gel. You guys know I use a lot of gel, and then I scrunch out the crunch at the end. Now I'm just scrunching the heck out of my hair. I'm just gonna get some more and then just kind of scrunch that in. Okay. We are all scrunched out. The more scrunching, the better. Um, I'm going to actually plot my hair really quickly.